Hello everyone. Now in this particular video, we are going to discuss question number 17 of gate year 24 exam. Now let us discuss this particular question. Consider the data set with six data points. So six data points are given to us x1, y1 till x6, y6, where x1 is what? 1, 0, x2 is 0, 1, x3 is what? 0, comma, 0, minus 1. So vector is given to us, right? x4, x4, x6. So these are the vectors given to us. And the labels are given by y1 equals to y2 equals to y5 equals to 1 and y3, y4, y6 equals to minus 1. So we are dealing with the binary classification problem here and having the class 1 and plus 1 and minus 1. Okay. A hard margin linear support vector machine. A hard margin linear support vector machine is trained on the above data set so this question is going to check your understanding about the hard margin in the case of linear support vector machine so this is very important if you understand what is this then you can easily guess the answer from these four options okay and what we need to find out which one of the following sets is a possible set of support vectors now first what is hard margin here and we will discuss also what is soft margin as well okay so i will discuss soft margin as well so both the things are applicable in the case of linear support vector machine okay linearly separable support vector machines now let's draw a graph here okay let's plot the graph for the data points now let's say for example i have two classes here minus one and plus one so minus one is indicated by a black color and plus one is indicated by blue color for example and now i am going to plot those points okay so here we are dealing with a six data point and out of six three of which are in minus one class and three of which in plus one class so three in black and three in blue so I am going to plot like this. Let's say these are my three data points belong to a minus one class. And I am going to plot uh, three more data points which belong to a plus one class that is indicated by a blue. So here it is. And let's say this is basically a blue data point plus one. Now what is hyperplane here or decision boundary? So in the case of classification, this is basically my decision boundary, I can say, decision boundary, or we can say it is as a hyperplane as well, okay. So we have discussed this in the SVM lectures. Now what is support vector? What do you understand by a support vector here? So if I draw a line parallel to a, this particular decision boundary such that the point should be covered. So, this particular thing, right? If I draw a line like this, for example, like this and this in both the classes, like this, and the distance should be this two lines, this line and this line should be maximum. Okay. So, our margin, so this is basically margin. So, indicated by a row, this is basically margin. So, our margin should be maximum. Then we can say this particular data point through which these margins are passing that is basically my support vectors. So in this scenario I can say this black two data point and this blue data point are my support vectors. Okay. So please watch the video on support vector. I already discussed uh, this particular points. Now what is hard margin and what is soft margin? When I say I have this particular hyperplane and I am drawing these two lines here like this two planes here right such that the distance between uh, these two lines are maximum. Now what I am saying in the case of hard margin my all the data points all the black data points will lie on this side of this particular uh, margin or I can say line and all the blue data points will lie on this particular side of this particular plane. Not even a single data point is going to lie here or here or from black side here or here no. So this is basically what hard margin is. So all the vectors either will be lying on the plane or on this particular side. Okay. So this is about the margin or I can say hard margin. Now what about the soft margin? Same thing. 
if few data points for example this is my plane and few data points are lying here from black side or from a black side here or from blue side here in that scenario that will be my soft margin so few data points are crossing this particular uh, plane in that scenario i am going to consider soft margin but if this particular plane we are going to follow it strictly so in that case it is a hard margin such that the distance between uh, these two particular plane is maximum okay so this is what a hard margin is now that's it if you understand what this hard margin is then you can easily solve this type of question here so if you observe option number a here i have three data points x1 x2 x5 so what we need to find out the set of possible support vectors okay which one of the following sets is a possible set of support vectors so this is what we need to find out okay these few points it can be one it can be two it can be more than two as well okay so here you can see x1 x2 x5 so if you observe x1 x2 x5 they all belong to single class that is basically a one class so i can say a blue class here okay so x1 x2 x5 belong to single class so i cannot draw a a uh, plane here through the vectors because it will not give me an idea about the other class so anyway this option is not correct because i can say here that all the data points are belong to positive class points only right so since it does not include any negative class data point so i cannot say it is a, a valid set of support vectors for a hard margin svm okay so we cannot uh, define the margin here by using just one class so option a is not correct what about option b here so here we are dealing with x3 x4 x5 so x3 and x4 is basically what negative class and this x5 is what positive class right now here also this include two negative class point and one positive right similar what we have discussed in the case of option number a this cannot be a valid set of support vectors because there are not enough positive class points to define the separate hyperplane here so we observe for uh, this one so what is happening here i have two data points from the negative class black class and just one data point from the positive class so i cannot uh, define the margin in this particular uh, case so option b is also not correct what about option number c here we are dealing with x4 and x5 in this scenario one point belong to a positive and one point belong to a negative so based on that i can consider this is a support vector but if you observe option number d here okay so this is a possible options but if you observe option number d here so there are four data points out of which two belong to a one class that is a positive class and two belong to a negative class now this will give me much overall information about the positive class and negative class right so so because of this uh, data points having the equal combination i can define the decision boundary here so if you observe here it allows it will allow me for the separation of two classes so i can use this data point as my support vectors to separate a two classes separation of two classes here because there is adequate contribution of both the class i can use c as well but if you go with c only one one data points are there so may not be adequate uh, information to just or uh, define a boundary right but if you observe option number d that is more suitable for this particular scenario that's why option number d is correct okay so i hope you understand this particular question but the important thing is that whether you understand hard margin or not okay so this type of question cannot be asked based on the soft margin in either of the cases we can uh, mark it as a correct one right we cannot show which one will be a possible set of support vectors but in the case of hard margin only we can uh, say that all the data points will lie on this particular side of a uh, boundary and other class will lie on this particular side of this particular boundary okay so that's why option d is more correct here option a directly cancel option b not participation of both the class option number c can be possible but if you compare option c and d d is more accurate here okay so that's why which one of the following set is a possible set of support vectors so i will go with option number d so option d is the correct answer here i hope you understand what we have discussed in this particular video and that's it thank you